In this video, I will be discussing the things that my locks went through within the first three months. I am currently at the three month mark right now. But look at this picture. This is a picture before I started my twisted locks. These are my free form locks. They're sticking up, but I had to comb them out because my mom didn't like them. To be honest, I kind of missed them though because these were a very iconic set of locks for me. Um, they were very low maintenance. It was very easy to maintain these things. But then a whole bunch of hell starts in my life. To be honest, I don't want to say it like that, but it's true. I mean, these locks are a lot of stress. This is day one of my twisted locks. July 7, 2017. Look at the, look at the size. They were very tiny. I thought they was going to stay this size, but boy, was I mistaken. Your locks actually shrink in length and expand in width and not up and they will not stay the same size if you think they're gonna stay the same size they won't even stay the same shape they'll get flat and they'll congo up some of mine have already started congo up because i've been a little lazy for the past week and yes it, it only takes a week for one to congo up when you get further down in your in your journey and they start locking because mine have started locking right now um in this image, it was day one, so they didn't lock at all. They were just twists, basically. This was the first week. They're still, like, noodle size, very small, you know. Here's another image depicting how small and skinny they were. Very small. This is my three-week lock update. <laughs> Not really an update, but my three-week mark. You can see they started to expand. When they expand, that means they are starting to knot up. Um, you can really see the coloration of my locks. I have not ever dyed my hair. This is the natural dye from the sun. That started way before my locks. My hair was brown when I had the afro. Um, here is one month. No wash yet. So, this is my one month picture. I'm in artificial lighting so you can't really see the brownness of my hair but look at the length look at the length as you can see the the part of my hair that goes on my forehead has not passed up my eyebrows and it hasn't even passed up my ears on the side of my head yet but that changed but in this image i was exercising i was sweating i was doing all kinds of stuff and my hair just happen to unravel this is very natural it's gonna happen in your one month your hair will unravel it's something that will just happen it will happen you can't stop it it don't matter how much you have your fingers in your hair your hair will just unravel on your first month and then i got a first retwist it was a pretty fresh retwist here's the back you can see the retwist but there was one problem the lady who retwisted my hair put too much beeswax in it. And when I got in the sun, it actually started to melt and make my hair look very slick and greasy. And I did not like that. So, I stopped going to her. And I began to retwist my hair on my own. And wash my hair. This was at one month, me washing my hair. And the lady told me not to wash my hair until I got it three months. And I'm at three months right now. My hair is flourishing because I washed my hair. So the lady who twists my hair d didn't have locks herself. So so you gotta you gotta pay attention to that. If she doesn't have locks herself, the lady who retwisted my hair, in fact, had what looks like permed hair on her head. Just nothing but permed hair. And that's not good. You shouldn't try to get lock, lock advice from someone who doesn't have locks or never had locks, for that matter. Because that doesn't make any sense. Here's my second month. My second month was very good for me because they started to look really good. I liked how the second month looked really good on my head. They started to bud, though, and they were very bumpy, and I love the bumpiness. I do not like cylindrical locks anymore. I did at one time. But now I, now I got used to the bumpiness. I actually like that. 
and that's my little brother looking photobombing my picture. Um, by the way. And you can see the buds a little bit better in this picture. You can you can really see them. Here's a side image of my second month, and you can see that the hair that goes on my forehead is past my eyebrow now, and it's past my ears, so that is good, you know, that means it grew, but of, of course it's going to shrink again, your hair goes through a pattern with locks, it will grow, and then it'll shrink, grow, and then it'll shrink, but it will grow, you know. This was a picture taken in the beginning of my two, second month. So, this was from my second month video. Um, they're very wet in this image. You can see the coloration. You can see the length. They've gotten really long in this image, um, but then they shrunk back again. This is my first day of school, September 13th, 2017. My first day of school. Very iconic image again. Uh, my hair still holds this twist pattern in some places, but in other places, it still looks rugged. My locks are flat because I sleep on them. That's natural. Um, the lock that's in the very middle of my forehead, well, not the very middle because I don't have a lock in the very middle, but you know what I mean. The lock that's in the very middle of my forehead that touches the tip of my eyebrow, the tip of my right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, your left, you know. That one has a bud right at the root. It has a bud right at the root. So that one was sticking up for a long time. I had to make it lay down because that one wasn't looking, you know, right. But here's the left side. You can really see the budding. One could say that this is locked up, but it's not. At, in my second month, my locks weren't really locked up. I rubber banded the one at the back. But they do look locked up, you know. Here's the top of my head. This is the second week of school. As you can see, the right side it looks more twisted up and pointier than the left side. This is because I have hands and hair syndrome. I just twist my hair with my fingers when I get bored. That's not really a problem. As long as you're not hurting your scalp, you're good. As long as you're not, you know, pulling your scalp, you're good. If you're just messing with the tips, you're you're okay, you know? It's just a habit for me. And here's the back. As you can see, they've expanded and knotted up a lot. Look like sausages. Now, at first they look like noodles, but now they look like sausages. So that's something cool to think about. And um, third week of school. Look at this. This is a retwist I, I put in my hair. This is what my hair looks like after a retwist. You can see the coloration again from the natural, the natural light of the sun. And this was a picture that was actually taken yesterday. Um, this picture was taken yesterday, October 7th. This is my third month anniversary. Every month, on the sec on the seventh day of every month, that's another month for me. That's a that's an anniversary for me, you know what I mean? Um I should say a moon anniversary or something like that, but not an anniversary, because that's years, but Look at this. They have expanded so much, and they look like they probably have came loose or something, but they did not. They just expanded, and the thing is, my hair is just crazy almost. It look, I, I'm getting a retwist today. I'm retwisting these today, but the roots have started to fan out. The roots have started to fan out. But in this image, there's Congos happening because I've been a little lazy for the past week. And it only takes a week for a Congo to happen when your hair is started the locking process. My hair has started the locking process. It has started to lock. Some of my hair has already been locked. And I have proven this with a comb. I tried the comb test on three of my locks in the back. Tried to pass a comb through them. But the comb was not able to pass through them. This means that they are pretty much locked. They are not locked all the way. But they are almost locked. And gosh, they do need a retwist. I know it's crazy. Some of them are just stuck together though. So crazy, man. But the reason why this happened is because I've shampooed it when I wash it. Shampoo works better than sea salt. I'm very... I, I look on YouTube... How to make your hair lock faster. 
So many people are saying sea salt. You should use sea salt, right? Yes, sea salt will make your hair a lot. But shampoo works better. I'm just going to tell you straight up. It's just that people are looking for something more natural, so they say sea salt. But uh, the truth is, shampoo works better when it comes to locking your hair. I'm telling you, man. Shampoo will lock your hair like crap. Um, I will retwist these today. And, but just look at it. I'm just saying, like, dang, they're so big. Just take an eye at these, man. Just take an eye. I'm going to make a, th a three-month uh, lock update. Check that one out. And you can see what my locks are looking like right now with a better picture. And you can see what my retwist will look like. So check that video out. It's coming up very soon. So with that, I would like to say peace and blessings, family.